Hey, what's up guys? It's Tech Infusion and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to blur out a face or object inside of Premiere Pro CC 2019. You see this effect a lot on prank videos, but it's a helpful tip to know just in case you need to use a piece of footage that has sensitive material or a person that has not given consent to be in the video. Anyways, guys, without any further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so right here in my timeline, I have an example clip of this guy drinking coffee. And for this video, I want to blur out his face. So the easiest way to do this is with a blur effect. What we're gonna do is go ahead and head over to this effects window. And if you don't have this loaded into your workspace, going up to window and then clicking on effects will pop it up for you. Under the effects window, just search for mosaic. The effect that we're going to be using is under stylize. You could achieve a similar blur effect using a simple fast blur, but it would be a lot smoother of a blur and not pixelated as you see in many other videos with blurred faces. However, if you do prefer the smoother blur, you can apply this tutorial the exact same way. All right, so just go ahead and drag and drop the mosaic effect on your footage. Then what we're gonna wanna do is go up to the effects control panel, which works the same way as the effects panel. If you don't see it, just go up to window and click on effect controls. So underneath the mosaic effect, we can adjust just how pixelated the clip is. Start adjusting these two numbers until you're happy with how it looks. Now it's time to track the face. Under each effect, you'll see that we have these masking options. You can either create a quick circle mask by clicking this oval, you can do a rectangle shaped mask, or you can even draw out your own mask with the pen tool. Since we're masking out his face, I'm going to use the circle mask. Once you click that, you'll see a circle pop up that will mask out a certain area of your footage. Let's move this circle to his face. From here, just reshape the circle to fit around the head. Now heading back to our effects control window, by mask path, you'll see that we have this play icon. Just click that and Premiere will automatically begin to track that mask with the moving head. It actually does a pretty good job as you can see here. You can do this track step manually if you wish by adding keyframes and moving the mask each time. If the automatic tracking misses a portion of the face or object you are trying to track, you can go back and manually fix this by just moving the mask for each keyframe. After you've fine-tuned the track and the blur is set up how you'd like, you're finished. You now have a perfectly sensitive blur that follows along with the movement. You can apply the same technique to any object. It doesn't have to be a face. Anyways, that's it for this quick helpful tip. I do hope that it helped you guys, and if it did, please remember to leave a like, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and until next time guys, peace out.